this is Heather Dawn. So today we're going to discuss um, black holes. No, not those black holes. Sort yourselves out. Um, a black hole is in the galaxy. It, there's many of them in the galaxy. And they basically are sucking stuff in and pulling stuff in. Or apparently, I actually read today um, that they don't actually suck. It's the gravitational force that they hold that, that pulls things in as it gets close to the event horizon. What is the event horizon? Well, the event horizon is the place surrounding the distance from the black hole um, to the point where things start to get pulled in. So I'm going to do a really crappy little experiment here. So we've got a kitchen roll, woohoo! Um, and where's my plastic cap bottle? A plastic cap bottle. Um, so the event horizon say is here, for example. So you've got your, your cap. So this could be, say, for example, a star or even maybe a galaxy. So it could be going around and around the black hole and it, it will start to get pulled in, potentially, by the gravitational pull of the black hole. So then what's going to happen as it gets closer? It's gone right down it. It's gone right down it. Well, where is it now? Hmm. Well, apparently... If something gets sucked into a black hole, they are starting to ponder and scientists are looking at whether if it comes out to form a new universe, uh, which is an interesting concept really, because if you think of a black hole as something that we don't know what's inside it, we don't know where things that get sucked inside are going to go, then potentially it could be getting going into a new universe, a universe, universe or a parallel universe, something like that. Um, which is quite interesting. Um, the black hole is the only object in the universe that is known to be able to suck in light. So apart from light bulbs and uh, cigarette lighters, no, I'm only joking, actual light is the only thing that apparently these black holes can suck in. So if you were, this is a really interesting fact that I found out earlier today. Um, if you were to be able to create a black hole yourself, because obviously we can all do that, <laughs> um, but if you were and you got given material the size of the earth to form one with, then to form a black hole out of that material, you would have to squeeze all this material as big as earth into the size of nine, uh, 99 millimetres, is it? Nine millimetres, nine millimetres, sorry. So you'd have to squeeze it to nine millimetres. From the earth to nine millimetres, that is how dense um, a black hole is, basically. So uh, that's a lot of squeezing, it's a lot of denseness, and it is incredible. If you look up the word dense and see what it means, it's just how heavy something is. Um, an example of something that is really dense is we've got our sun. Um, our sun is a star. There are stars out there called neutron stars and neutron stars are really, really dense objects. And if you've got a teaspoon, which if you take sugar in your tea, you know what a teaspoon is. I think every human being knows what a teaspoon is. But if you got a teaspoon and took a teaspoon of a neutron star, it would weigh 99 million tonnes. That is how heavy um, a neutron star is so it's so dense and the black hole is the most dense thing in the universe so it is just absolutely phenomenal um, we obviously have a massive black hole in the centre of our Milky Way so I'm going to be looking into seeing if uh, every single galaxy out there has a black hole in the centre which would be quite intriguing because it would mean there's, there's a reason why all galaxies have a black hole in the centre so uh, yeah, that'd be interesting to find out if they're, if they're essential to every galaxy out there. So, yeah, I've been banging on talking about it long enough, but go look up black holes. Um, obviously, they sound quite amazing. Uh, the most uh, powerful and mysterious object out there. And I hope to uh, see you all soon. Have a good weekend, folks, and I'll be back soon. I've been Heather Dawn. Thank you.